So I've been away for a while, and wow, the world sure has gotten messed up. <sighs> See what happens when I, your source of wisdom, knowledge, and sagacity, leaves for a little while? I blame myself. It's been a while, hasn't it? In fact, if I check, it has been exactly... Ugh. Oh, a long time. But hey, look what I learned to do in that time. Watch this. That didn't do what I thought it did, did it? <laughs> Enough monkeying around! It is time to clean up this mess and distribute from my ever so vast well of information. It is time to answer some more questions. Question number one. Tia wants to know, are slugs the same thing as a snail, just without a shell? Aside what from some sources might try to convince you to believe, slugs and snails are exactly the same thing. It's just like with humans. You know how some humans have pictures on their skin or bits of metal on their bodies? It's pretty much like that. The easiest way to think about it is that snails are a product of their youth. They were young and they wanted to make a bold statement. And they thought the best way to do this would be to put a giant rock on their back. What could go wrong? Besides all the cool slugs were doing it. And it made a statement. And that statement was, you can't tell me how to live my life. But over the years, that statement slowly morphed into, wow, I did not know my back could hurt this badly. Really, what did they think was going to happen? But other than that, those two are exactly the same thing, no matter what any other sources might try to tell you. Question number two. Jaden asks, since a mermaid is half human, half fish, and a minotaur is half human, half bull, if they had a child, would it be a normal human or a bull shark? Hmm, might be more of a bull fish, unless the mermaid was like a mer shark. Whoa, I think we've just invented a new creature here. I think, I'll have to look that up. But I mean, genetically, either of those options are totally feasible. In fact, there are also some other options available that aren't even covered in this question. Fascinating if you think about it. Also disturbing when you think about it. And there are other problems here, like getting them to mate in the first place. I mean, how are they going to establish any kind of relationship? Can you imagine a mermaid and a minotaur going out on a date together? One wants seafood and the other's like, you know, I could really go for some hay right now. Moo. And then their potential offspring might even want to eat their parents. Now we're back to disturbing. But personally, I think this question is just a load of bull shark. Well, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for asking. Thank you for watching. Remember that you are valuable and you are loved. Have an awesome day. And we will catch you later because I'm back. Catch you later. Because he's back. Oh.